It's not like absolutely necessary. Who wants vanilla and chocolate ice cream with pineapples in it? Hi you guys, welcome back to another vlog. I don't know if you can see the beauty that is our entryway wall. I'm obsessed with it. We've been filming for the series, the home series, doing this and Tyler gave a whole bunch of tips and all that. So if you guys wanna see that, I'll that video will be up before this one. Um, and it'll be really, really nice to hear what he said, um, things that he learned along the way because he did a lot of the um, like the stuff that had to do with like the big tools, I didn't do. I am actually going to paint all of it now because he has to go to work. So he, I was gone working this morning and he did, he finished off this and then he's leaving to work and I'm gonna paint it all. I'm really excited about the, it looks so good. I'll show it to you guys once I'm done. And then yesterday I started painting my room, which I told you guys in the last vlog that I was going to do. I haven't finished it because I have to do the tops. Um, but I got this beautiful blue. I mean, if you guys know, blue is my happy color. It is my favorite color in the world. Um, and this is the type of color that I had for my, um, on my vision, not on my vision board, but on like my little board thing. And I'm gonna just, I can't wait to just decorate it and make it really pretty and moody and just, oh, I'm, I'm really, really excited. But right now the house is like in shambles because we just have ladders everywhere and just stuff everywhere. I added, I don't remember if I told you guys, but I added more of the candles. There's another set coming in today. So it's almost completely full. I'll probably order another one. I'm making myself something to eat right now. And I just want like good old ramen noodles. Like that's what I'm in the mood for. And we had some back when one of the hurricanes was coming. Tyler bought like a huge pack. So we have like a couple left over. So, what does February, or F, I don't know, Best Buy month, August 2023, okay, still good I guess, um, so yeah, I'm just going to make these ramen noodles, I have not had ramen noodles, I mean I have them, but I don't have them often. This is the beef one, and I always add cheese to my ramen. I've never done it. It is the best. Look at my beautiful tulips. They're stunning. Here's the wall. So yeah, you can see it's white, and the wall is the same as the rest of the house. It's like a, it's called pale oak. So I'm gonna paint these to match this, and then I'm going to finish the room. So I'm gonna have like a pretty busy afternoon for myself while Tyler's working. Um, and then I'm gonna make dinner, and I'm making a, or like an orzo recipe, so I'm pretty excited about that. It's gonna be really, really good. What meat did I take out actually? Ground turkey, okay. Um, so I'm gonna make like a saucy, red, yummy, creamy, cheesy orzo for dinner. It's like a good Friday night dinner. And I'm actually excited because this weekend I don't really have plans and that doesn't happen often, like where I just have nothing to do, no appointments, no nothing. So tomorrow I think I'm gonna do a little like home goods run. I'm like craving one now, or like a Marshalls, but I think the Marshalls and all that, that's the closest to me is, let me see, Marshalls. Oh, it's the, the one that I used to live by. I mean, it's really close, it's 10 minutes away. But yeah, I just, I don't know. I, I wanna get like a big mirror for this wall here. I think we're gonna put like a large mirror up in the wall with a table underneath it or something. I don't know, but we'll see. Wild Friday night, I'm in my pajamas. I showered a little bit before time got home. Um, I made dinner. I made some orzo. Tyler inspected my work. Um, we stared at the wall for at least 10 minutes and now I'm like really in the mood for like soft serve like yummy soft serve ice cream and we have a place right around the corner like I still want to go to Fortuna Bakery yeah, I, I want to go yeah. yeah like you work on Sunday uh yes remember I told you I was like Straight, yeah. yeah. Well, maybe the next weekend day that you're off, 
we can get like yummy breakfast sandwiches or something from there with like cafe con leche. Oh, they do all that? Too. They do everything, yeah. Like it's a whole, gotcha. I, I guess how you say it in English is bakery, but like a panaderia. Like you can get like, food. kind of like, um, uh, what's the fucking place that we love in the Florida Mall? Masson. Kind of like that, yeah. But this is like more, I don't want to say more authentic because Maison but Maison is a chain. Yeah. Like so now it's a chain where more, Fortuna uh, is not a chain. There's more than one of them though, right? I don't know. Okay. Let me actually look. Because I thought I've heard that name before, but I, I've never really spent much time on this side of town. Me too, so I don't know if this is the one. But I think it's like a, if it is, there's like a, there's only a few. There's one on Conroy and one on Osceola. Okay. Okay, so that's why this one is in there. Yeah, which I mean makes Big perfect sense. sense. Yeah. So one of these days, I definitely want to go and get like just like yummy breakfast, like whether it's like a Mallorca sandwich, yum. Yeah. Mallorca with just like a nice coffee or something, and it's probably like five bucks. Hopefully. I, I know. Mean, either way. I know. No, but I mean in Puerto Rico, it's like I that. Mean, like you could get a freaking coffee for a dollar twenty-five with a nice yummy Mallorca. Bread. I don't know if I want like a vanilla cone with rainbow sprinkles. It's very classic. I know. I get into the mood every once in a while where like I'm thinking of like Mr. Softy and I want that type of flavor. And the I feel like Mr. Softy equals vanilla ice cream with rainbow sprinkles. Like that's just the, it's just what it is. It's just what you get. That's what you get. Yeah, the fire truck definitely turned on, right? Who's gonna stop them? Time are you working tomorrow? I think I'm landing. Yeah. We're going to Twisty Treat. If you know, you know. I don't know if that's just like in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> think... Or like a Central Florida thing, or if that's everywhere. Twisty Treat? I've never seen one until I moved to Florida. Right. And I've seen them, like, they're all over Florida. Yeah. Or at least Central Florida, if anything, because there's like the one that's in Kissimmee. There's one that's St. Cloud by Laura's. Uh huh. There's one by Ranch my mom. Laura's. The one by my mom is the best one. That solid opinion. That's the best one. I know you always say that, but I've never seen like a difference. Oh my God! There's even the menu's different. Everything's different, and they have Nathan Hus Nathan's hot dogs. Don't come over here for the menu. Hi. I have no idea what the menu is, so I have to take a look at it. Like, I hate that shit. Like, I get it might help them go faster. But For sure, but like, if I don't know what I want, now the me now the line is held that's up. That's why I, I don't like going to Chick-fil-A now, because it's like, I can't look, look at the menu, and it's like, yeah, everything is the same, but like... No. Like, it's not our job to memorize the menu. Exactly. Also, like... I wanted to speak to the speaker. Because, like, I want options that I might not even know. Right. I want... Okay, I want a twirl. I want a Snickers twirl. In the size... Should I do kitty or small? I mean, I'd fucking large. No, no, no. I don't, you're ridiculous though. I don't a want a twirl. large. A twirl, yeah. Okay, this. Yes. They're delicious. Yeah. A Snickers twirl with vanilla ice cream. Alright. Are you gonna get anything? Nah. No, okay. She wants to do a... I'm gonna do a, a small, sorry. A small Snickers twirl with vanilla ice cream. Can I do extra Snickers? Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's it. Okay. You know what else is really good? Like, 
a caramel with uh, nuts. Like if you go to like McDonald's and get just like vanilla ice cream with a caramel. I like just getting a regular hot fudge sundae. Oh yeah, there. with oh, the nuts, vanilla, so good. Cherry. Yeah. My mom's order from Twisty Treat is an Almond Joy sundae. She gets the kitty because of her diabetes. So she gets the kitty size. Her favorite part is the whipped cream because there's no sugar in it. And then Pedro goes, get me a cone with vanilla and chocolate swirl. And then he wants it dipped in the chocolate that gets hard. Yeah. That's like Pedro's, or it's very fucking weird. He'll get the vanilla chocolate swirl mm -hmm. in a massive like pint with pineapples in it. Yeah. I no. used to hate when he used to order that because he would go to Twisty Tree by himself, order that, and then put that in the freezer for like everyone to enjoy. Mm -hmm. Who wants vanilla and chocolate ice cream with pineapples in it? Nah. That's disgusting. Thank you. Oh. Yum. Oh my god, they're soft serve. Soft. It's like butter. I definitely should have gotten a kitty cup. Well, if you can't eat it, I'll... Oh! You know. You'll top it off? I'll finish it off. Finish her off. Oh my god. Twisty Tree is definitely one of one. Like... ice cream is so soft and like pearly and it's a franchise I think it's like twelve thousand dollars to have uh, one, have one. Mm -hmm. mm. that's probably just the franchise fee but you still got one probably yeah for sure cone mm-hmm and I don't know if you notice, every Twisty Treat looks different, like the cone. Like the one of my parents has no cherry, no sprinkles, no nothing. That one, on the top of it, it looks like it has like fudge. No shit. And there's like sparklies, like as sprinkles. And then there's some that it's, they have like a vanilla pour over the cone with rainbow sprinkles and a cherry. Every single one of them looks different. My family takes Twisty Treat very seriously. I see that. <laughs> You, you always hit me with the facts when we go there. <laughs> mm. So I always see people taking walks, leaving the neighborhood. Uh, uh, they might be going to the community center. So True. I started catching up on um, Real Housewives of Potomac. I used to watch it uh, back when we lived in the College Park house, like, a long time ago. It's back on. Well, now I have Mikey's YouTube TV. So I can catch up. Because... Now that I'm watching Vanderpump Rules, which, by the way, if you watch Vanderpump Rules... Huh. The next one is on Wednesday, the next reunion. There's three parts to the reunion. I'm going to be in front of that TV with popcorn because messy messy this is gonna make my stomach hurt I don't care mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in my pajamas Lenny your papa got me ice cream your papa got me ice cream. Um, there's the wall. Stunning. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna chill for now because I've been painting and doing all that all day. I literally have the Real Housewives of Potomac on. Actually, let me turn on all my cute little candles. Light my base candle.
Hello everyone, happy Saturday. Uh, welcome back to another day in the vlog. I don't think I vlogged that much yesterday, I can't remember. But it is the morning, it's 10 a.m. I'm already like up and at them, basically. Um, I'm finishing up my coffee and getting ready because <clears throat> I need to leave here at 11. I need to leave here at 11. I'm meeting up with Brendalyn at a coffee shop. We're gonna do a little bit of work for the store and then we're gonna go to Home Goods. And I just have some errands to run afterwards. I have to go to the vet and pick up the flea medication for all these animals. And it's like almost $500, which is torture, but they have to stay on that medication because they're outside a lot. So I can't have them getting nasty and full of fleas. I'm wearing a really cute outfit today. I'm gonna wear the all black linen um, set that I got from Target. I'll link it down below for you guys. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. I was waiting for a reason to wear it. So today is the day. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of product to my hair. I've been noticing I just prefer my hair when there's way less product in it. Like I don't mind if it gets a little bit frizzy I don't really care. So I'm using a little bit of the Not Your Mother's Activating Curl Talk Mousse. I'm using a little bit of that. And this is going to go on both sides of my hair. Because like I said, I don't, I don't like the feeling of a lot of product in my hair. I like when my hair feels fluffy. And not like there's product in it. But I do need to put stuff in for frizz. Because oof, especially it's supposed to rain today. So my hair is going to be frizzy. I'm going to put in the Curl Talk cream yeah while well, I was in the shower so putting in the cream Lenny what are you doing you want Also been putting in some of this Monet air dry cream I don't remember when I bought this it's been a long time but I'm just using it until it finishes up it's just again helps with frizz and that's kind of all I want I just want to maintain the frizz and define the wave but I just don't want my hair feeling crispy. I hate that. And I don't like it looking wet either. Like I like when it looks dried down. Once I come home, I'm just gonna do some cleaning up because we still have the mess out here from the wall, like doing the molding and I wanna clean all that. I'm in the mood to just be in my space and feel comfortable and creative and all of that. So I, um, also need to finish painting my office. Just the borders are what's left. I need Tyler to do it to be honest because it's so high up. I'm like terrified and I'm not scared of heights, but it's like high up. I'm using that e.l.f. glow primer thing. Honestly, I really like this as a substitute for foundation. It almost kind of looks like a tinted moisturizer or something although it's not a moisturizer it looks like it because it's just really natural and pretty my two concealers These are both ColourPop, I think, yeah. They just blend super easily and they're pretty good coverage without being cakey or heavy or anything like that. 
and I got them both at Target. I also need to stop at the store, like at the grocery store before I come home. I just have a lot of running around to do and I already know that's going to end up making me exhausted. Like, I don't know about you guys, but one errand and I'm like ready for a nap. Tyler has two tattoos today. He has one at six or one at 12, one at 12 and one at four. So he's probably going to be tattooing until like six or seven. Going to be solo for the most part of today, which I'm okay with. I like being alone. I got a new book. I picked up The Power of Now. I know it's a really, really popular book. I used to have it and I don't know where I put it. So I just ordered it again on Amazon. And I want to start reading that because I loved The Untethered Soul. If you guys have never read that. It is a very difficult read. It's not like a very easy read at all. Like it's something that you have to be very focused on. You can't have any distractions. Like it's a it's a hard book to read. Um, but once you actually get into it, it is amazing. It's life changing. I should read it again, to be honest, because it's so good. I haven't read it in a couple of years. I know the power of now is kind of like the same sort of like spiritual awakening type of book. I want to read it and just, you know, adjust my mindset and all that. And I also need to steam my outfit and lint roll the hell out of it. What happened? Mascara and then we're done. I have been craving a bagel, like a New York bagel. Thick layer of cream cheese. Tomato. Like something delicious. I need to clean my ring. My ring is atrocious. It is so dirty. I need to steam my outfit. I have this little steamer from Amazon. I've had it for forever. It's not the best, but it gets the job done. And I would rather steam than iron all day, every day. You couldn't pay me to iron. This is a little set that I'm wearing. I've worn the pants a million times. I shrunk the top, which I needed to do because it was huge. So I just washed it and then put it in the dryer, which I usually do not do with linen at all because it shrinks it. This doesn't really need much. It definitely needs to look roller though, badly. So black linen, when you have animals, don't recommend, unless you have a lint roller. Now I need to put them on so that I can lint roll them because holy moly, I'm going to have to tie lint roll the back. I have these linen pants in like four colors. I love them. I want to get them in the white too, but it's not like absolutely necessary. I just want them. It's not like I need, well, I actually don't have white pants for the summer, so I guess it is a need. Yeah, it fits way better now. Still a little bit big right here, but cute. Yeah, Holy crap, you scared me. Sorry. Um, I just sent money to your so. For the, oh, for the dogs? Yeah. Or dogs? Isn't this cute? I look like I should be in France. Uh, uh, you need a uh, beige hat. A cute, right? I have one. I'll bring it if we end up going to France. We have a trip to 
Europe that we're hopefully going to be doing later this year. We wanted to go back for our anniversary, but because of the house, there was just too much happening. It just didn't make sense. Um, so we're planning a trip with our friends to go to the south of France. I've always wanted to go to like Nice and Cannes. They're, they want to go to Paris and I do not want to go. So we're like, oh, maybe we'll just meet them in France when they go like down south. So hopefully we will see. I'll let you guys know if that ends up happening. My same nude lip color that I do all the time. I've been putting money into savings again. I stopped for a long time, but starting to save again because it is necessary. So I'm pretty much ready. Yeah, I definitely need to get this taken in just a little bit. It's really cute though. Oh, I moved my mirror here because I was painting my room. So this is what it looks like. I need to, it's hard to see the detail, but it's cute. Really cute. I need to put on deodorant, I need to put on lotion. I am lint free. I can show you guys a little better now. Yeah, you see it's a little bit on the sides, but nothing too crazy. It's super cute. I am so hungry. I have an entire bag of mangoes to give to Brendan because this thing is pumping out so many mangoes and the squirrels, like I told you guys, are eating them like they're theirs. So I'm like, all right, mangoes for everybody. going to a place called Foxtail. If you're in the Orlando area, I'm sure you know Foxtail. It's like a, a chain of coffee shops. So I'm here with Brendalyn. I just needed a moment to show you. <laughs> she bought us these bags. Ugh, obsessed. First of all, the color, come on, come on. Look at hers. You can wear it two ways. Like that? Like, look at this. I have my laptop in here. Oh yeah. Take it out. You can hold it like a bucket or you can hold it like how she just had it. Okay, guys, sorry. I have a lot happening right now. Like, but look at that. <laughs> they are beautiful. And now we're just taking pictures. Okay, so we're in here. We're looking for very specific things. What are you looking for? I'm just trying to see if I find the picture that I didn't buy last time. Yes. Let's go in there. Yeah. And see what else they have. That could be useful. And I am looking for a large frame, tape, I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking for either, actually. Yeah, if I can find that lamp. Wow, oh, that's pretty. I want something like this right at the front of my bed. Um, but also something simple. Ooh. Oh. I like this. It has like this really cool texture. So that might be. What is a small mirror or standing mirror? It's gonna go for a wall, like on the wall. I like this. Hello, everyone. So I'm back home. Obviously, changed because I got. Poured. I got poured on. So, I'm home. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I went to um, Publix on the way home. Terrible mistake. I should have done like delivery because it's pouring. I got Lenny a new toy, so. I'll just show you guys a mini grocery haul along with what I got at Home Goods. I didn't get too much at the grocery store, but 
get some stuff we needed. Because again, I'm trying not to buy things that like we don't need so that I'm not just buying food to buy food. Okay, first from Lenny, can you do that like somewhere else? Sorry, I got him a shark, a big shark toy. So first thing, I got these mini Snickers. We love having mini chocolates, like mini Tic Kit Kats, uh, Twix, these. Um, every once in a while we'll do Reese's. So I just like these for just like a little sweet bite at the end of the night. I got two bags of shredded iceberg lettuce. I just love having greens in general for the base of bowls. I got some Joseph's pita bread. Love these so much. And I've been eating a lot of um, like Mediterranean Greek inspired meals. So I got that. I got some chicken tenderloins, some chicken breast just to have. I got a gallon of milk for our coffee. I got Tyler some Wow, I did not realize I, ha I got this flavor. It's vanilla flavored marshmallows, frosted flakes. I did not mean to get this, that's so annoying. Anyways, I got Leonard this, um, these are like toppers that we put on his food. Um, grilled chicken, filet mignon, and beef noodles and vegetables. And then I got myself a bottle of Mirabal. One of the best rosés, it's so freaking good. Putting this right in the freezer. So we'll definitely be having some. Oh, and I got toilet paper. Right there, because we were getting low, and I just didn't want to run out. Um, next up, I'm actually so hungry, I cannot wait to eat. Next up is Home Goods. So I got this really cool lamp. I did not see the lamps that they had last time when I was there, so I don't know. If I have time next week or something, I'll go and see if there's anything, but love this lamp. Just love the... The glass, it was 25 bucks, like I said, and it's also a port, so it'll charge your um, phone. But I just thought this would be a really cool lamp. We don't have any lamps, and I was like, we need table lamps, like, we don't have any. Then I got, they had Mike's Hot Honey, and they had the hot version, like the super hot. So, I got that. Love hot honey on a lot of things. Toast, salads, um, just tons of things. Um, I was not in the market for these, but I am so glad I picked them up because they are stunning. And I have a lot of um, missing measuring cups. And I don't have, actually I do have measuring spoons, that's a lie. But I got this set, it was $14. And I am in love with the handles first off. Look at these handles. It's like a wood and then it has the spoon with the measurement inside. So I got these. I got a colander because we don't have one and it's been driving me crazy every time I make pasta or potatoes and I have to strain it. All the potatoes fall or all the pasta falls into the sink. It was driving me nuts. So I got that. That's all I got. Well, I mean, I didn't spend that much. I spent $60. And then I figured I would show you guys these so brendalyn actually grabbed me these from a um an estate sale it was i think 20 22 each they're so heavy and big and i wanted these for when we transform the room over here um i wanted these for the walls because they have like this really intricate design so i got two of those really pretty that's everything that i picked up so I'm about to put all this away and then warm up some food because I'm starving and then I need to finish painting this. You can't really tell, you can a little bit right here, but this is a little bit lighter because the finish is different, so I just need to paint the whole wall. So I will talk to you guys later. I'm gonna probably put on some housewives and just zone out and paint. Hey guys, so I just got a little delivery. I just finished painting over here, which look, oh, looks so beautiful. Um, but I just have, um, some batteries because I bought more of the candles. You guys, I am in love with this candle. It's not a candle, it's the fake candle. I've showed it to you guys in like three vlogs already. They are perfection. So, just wanna make sure these are good because I got one pack that they were like melted and it was like deformed, like the wax was deformed. Just so. Uh -huh. 
these are good. These right here, and I'm just going to add them to the fireplace. I think one more set and it'll be nice and full. Like, I really love these. You guys are probably gonna be like, girl, like shut up about these damn candles. But look at how beautiful they are. And Tyler was even saying like, they look like they have, they look so realistic. They look like they have soot. Like they look like the wax is melting. And I think we got our curtains for inside for the living room. So I think Tyler's gonna put them up in a second. Just studying. Yeah, I think I'm gonna order one more pack and then I think it should be full. I think. Look at that. Gorgeous. So, and it comes with a little remote. But because I have so many at this point, one remote controls all of them. I am sweating. So if you see here, so I'm just gonna show you, I'm gonna turn all of them off or on. Look at how beautiful that is. Are you kidding me? Stunning. Honestly, I think I could do like two more packs. I love it so much. But yeah, I got the curtains. These are the same curtains as the ones in the dining room over there. They're just a linen, like oatmeal colored curtain i wanted to do like a green or something but i don't know what couch we're getting so i was like let me just stick to a neutral colored um curtain in case we want to do something fun with the couch i don't really know but i'm just gonna wait um i can always order more more curtains these were very cheap they were like 30 bucks i'll leave them down below they're really really pretty hi everyone i think this is gonna be the last day of this vlog i'm not really sure but it is already 2.50, it's almost 3 o'clock, and I have literally been working since I woke up. I got up pretty early, I read a chapter of my book, made my coffee, did some laundry, went to the tattoo shop, came home, edited the home transformation of the crown molding, uploaded that, and I just finished making my menu for the week, which is right here. I'm just gonna share what I'm making each day this week. So for dinner today, I'm making honey lime chicken burritos, which sounds so good. Tuesday, I'm doing honey sriracha, ground chicken, and broccoli over rice. Wednesday, I'm doing salmon with mashed potatoes and grilled corn. Thursday, I'm doing wings with Caesar salads and roasted potatoes. And then Friday, I'm doing this chicken uh, recipe that Tyler loves over pasta. So I've gone back to doing this since we put a pause in our um, HelloFresh, just, just to give it a break a little bit and just like, feel creative in making dinner because I do love to cook. I cook a lot. I cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner pretty much every single day. And then I made my grocery list reflecting the, what are they called? The, re the recipes or whatever. Also, put our sconces up. I need to get bulbs for them or like some sort of something to go inside of them. And then over here I'm putting a big piece of art, which I'm gonna ask Tyler if we can go to the store. I need to eat lunch because I'm getting kind of hungry. I don't know if I showed you guys already, but my room is done. I mean, it's a mess, but the paint is done. So it is this beautiful shade of blue. I love it. Um, so at some point this week, putting this room together is going to be one of the top priorities. Have on linen pants and this little cami that is like a million years old. And yeah, yesterday we had the best day. It was Sunday and we were like, you know what? We are going to just bum it today. And we literally brought pillows, laid on the couch, fell asleep. We went to this uh, Puerto Rican bakery called Taino Bakery and we got coffees and breakfast sandwiches. I got a limbe de pancha and it was so good and then we napped we just hung out we also put up the curtains i have to get another panel of them because this window is just really really long i put out my tray here i have a project that i want to do with all of my polaroids so i think if i'm able to pull it off i'm going to use that frame for right here so it's just going to be a really large like from here down to here because this has a lot of space. This isn't gonna stay here. This is just here for placement. I'm probably gonna have like a bench or something down there. So those are the next couple of things. But again, 
nice and slow because like I've told you guys many times, shit is freaking expensive. But yeah, I'm about to eat a little bit of leftover. Ooh, what should I eat? I have leftover orzo and I have leftover, I'm gonna eat this, this sounds good. It's, I think, brown rice. I made this on Saturday. Um, I made nachos, like loaded nachos on Saturday and this is what I loaded the nachos with. It has brown rice, tomato sauce, like salsa de tomate, black beans, ground beef, tomatoes, and cheese and i just put this on top of nachos so i think i'm gonna do the same thing i don't really have much many chips left um so yeah i'm just gonna make myself these little nachos and then um we'll see what we have going on for the rest of the day so we're back i brought the camera with me and i just completely forgot to start filming but we went to michael no joanne's real quick and i got this really really big frame this is 20 by 28 and it's gonna go here if you can see i was testing the size this is a little bit bigger if you can see but it's gonna go right here under this light and what i'm going to do inside of this is i'm going to display all of my polaroids i have a bunch i have a polaroid camera and a polaroid printer um so i'm able to print polaroids that are just on my iphone like i can print pictures on my iPhone in Polaroid form. And I got that for Christmas. And then I also have a Polaroid camera. So I'm basically going to put all of those in that frame. Um, and I just thought it would be a really cool and unique way to add a piece of art or whatever. And it'd be really personalized like to us. From uh, Joann's, I also got this instant tacky. It's like a putty just because I didn't want to ruin the pictures with glue just in case yeah i think i'm going to spend my evening just kind of zoned out um i'm pmsing so i'm kind of like in a blah mood I'm not sad or anything just like again you guys know how it is just like eh. so i think just focusing listening to music or a podcast will really like help my vibe Mm -hmm. Are they done for? No, I, I, I was asking because if they were easy to replace, I was gonna do something drastic. But if they're not, I don't want to do something drastic, so I'm gonna come up with another plan. Okay.
well as i thought i love it i have to wait for tyler to come in and hang it but it's really really big like it's huge so it's gonna go like over here this is a 20 by 28 i believe and it just has so many memories on there my bridal shower my uh engagement party thing this was like on rooftop i think the bungees lenny I have all my closest friends our models my friends babies my parents my godson my sister and my brother-in-law a brendolin and core photo shoot oliver there's brendolin there's my goddaughter when she was tiny my other friend's baby, me and mom, my sisters. Just tons and tons of photos. This was the day that I got the camera because Brendan's brother gave it to me. This is my male best friend. I just, I love this so much. There's a picture of Tyler and his friends. So I am leaning more and more towards making like my own art pieces and not buying things because i just feel like it's so much more personable and so much more like tied to us i'm gonna wrap up this vlog um i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next video i don't know when it's gonna be but i'll see you guys then